This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Should he step down? Congressman Anthony Weiner grilled on co by colleagues on Capitol Hill, some asking him to resign. This is a new far explicit picture services, along with a shocking revelation about the congressman's wife. Ed Lasko's here now with details. Ed? The new picture of Mr. Weiner, I've seen it, and believe you me, you do not want to see it. It is X-rated, and it could mean game over. The pressure is on for Weiner to resign, and Weiner now said to be reaching out to to Bill Clinton. This, as the sexting scandal, is blowing up big time. Listen. Congressman Weiner on the picture he hoped would never see the light of day. It's now out online, and Weiner again admitting it's an X-rated picture of himself taken by himself. Until now, we've seen Weiner shirtless and in his underwear, but this one, well, he's completely undressed. The sexting scandal has more and more fellow Democrats calling for Weiner to resign. Listen. On both sides of the aisle, things like this happen in unfortunate ways. Um, lying is unforgivable. Pub lying publicly about something like this is unforgivable, and, and he should resign. And direct from the halls of Congress, Representative Allison Schwartz says Weiner must go because of what she calls his offensive behavior online. So far, the reaction from the White House? We had no comment on that story. Now, the other big bombshell. The New York Times out with the news, Weiner's wife Uma is pregnant. She said to be in the early stages. Uma is a top aide to, listen to this, Hillary Clinton. Yeah, she started as an intern in Clinton's office and now is accompanying the Secretary of State on her current diplomatic visit to the Middle East. And you did hear right. Weiner has been talking to Bill Clinton. We're told he called the former president to apologize. Mr. Clinton officiated when Weiner and Uma got married last year. Can we just talk and talk to you for a minute about this? And then the scandal. Megan Bouchard. She's one of the women who now admits to having online contact with Weiner. No, thank you. I don't have any comment right now. And still developing right now, the Democrats are piling on. By my count, there are eight Eight Democrats now calling for Weiner to resign. Now it's your turn to, to grill Weiner. What do you think? Should he resign? Should he stay? Should he fight it out? Your turn. Text hot seat. Then your comments. They are most welcome. Don't forget, name and city. Then hit send. 71938. Your text live in the hot seat. That is in C block. That's coming up at the bottom of the hour. Now back to the top of the news. Christine, take it. All right. Well, the question also is, should she stay or should she leave? We're talking about Anthony Weiner's wife. Joining me now is relationship guru, Dr. Pat Allen. Well, should she? Yes, she should stay. Just like that. You know why? Because he's an addict. Go on. Do you know what he's an addict to? Dopamine. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And you know what it corrupts? Nervous systems. I want you to know men and women in positions of power don't release serotonin and they get into craving the upper. There are three neurotransmitters. Dopamine is what you get from cocaine, sex, doing but criminal behavior. Let me ask you this then, if you're with a rich and powerful man then, does that just come with the territory? I got news for you. Unless he's been lectured by a sex and drug addict specialist, he better know that he's not only going to get gray prematurely, he's going to get divorced prematurely. And I refer a book to Drugs, Debits, and Alcohol. Okay, you're also an expert on the show, Millionaire Matchmaker. Yes, so I am. are you saying this is just men being men? No, it's player men. It's men in positions of power who automatically attract norepinephrine addicts. You know what a norepinephrine addict no, I is? Don't. It's a woman who longs to be with the man of power. She doesn't but qualify. What? She may be a maid. She may be whatever. Why take the risk? Why do you put this I in want you print to know in the computer? There's never been a cocaine addict that took the thought about shall I take the risk. I'm telling you there are three things that run mankind. Alcohol, not alcohol, uh, drugs, money, and sex. And drugs can be bought off the street or they can be produced in your body. You're equating this to a drug addiction? I am telling you it is. Sex addicts are dopamine addicts. Okay, so if you're the wife and she is pregnant, yes. how do you get through this? How do you I got work news through this? The same way you'd find out if your husband had epilepsy. I think that every person that gets into government stress, every person that gets into a financial mess had better talk to somebody like me about the repercussions of not releasing your serotonin during your sleep cycle, craving some upper, going out and getting stimulated. But some say when you take a photo of your genitals and send that you're just being a pervert. No, you're not. 
Okay. You're being a drug addict, and you're riding on the high of the dopamine. All right, Dr. Pat Allen, we got to wrap it up, but you can read more about her and her books, Getting to I Do and Staying Married and Loving It. Always a, an opinion there. Carlos, over to you. Pat Allen, Christine, thank you.